Yeah. It's like fall weather more than winter, but the snow's almost gone too. Uh, number 21st. Gotta make a tree and get out of here. Yeah. Snow's almost gone, now it's coming back. Yeah. Kinda see them. Not very thick, but they're coming down. There's a place I don't go very often. I'll try to do some sourcing at TG Maxx. I'll uh, maybe get some footage inside. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll let you know what happens after. And that's what I got. I spent $21 total. Bought all clearance stuff. This is a Tommy Hill figure. <clears throat> it's got the emblem on the front. It's kind of puffy. And there's the size there. It's a 1X woman's. And they were charging um, $16.99. But it was on clearance for 5 bucks. The original price for it, as you can see, was $39.50. So if I, I'm going to take the TJ Maxx tag off uh, when I list it and then just leave this tag on there and then whoever buys it will just not know that it was TJ Maxx. <laughs> uh, or not, I don't know, we'll see. I'll probably charge the same price they were going to charge. <clears throat> uh, this one is pretty cool, it's also a woman's. Uh, I paid that much for it, $5. It's a Lucky brand. This was originally $59.50. And, you know, it's a medium, but it's, it would look good with Lucky Jeans, which we have some for sale as well. Kenneth Cole reaction. I actually forgot I even picked this one out. I looked at it, put it in the cart, and I was going to check it out. They were only charging 10 I got it for $3. The original price on it was 35 So I figured if I put it up for 10 or 15 I should get it. This one is a Rolling Stone shirt. It's not an actual tour shirt. It's a recreation of a 78 tour um, paid uh, three dollars for this one. They were only charging eight. I'll probably take the. I'll probably sell it as new without tags because it is new, but I don't have original tags for it. And same with Guns N' Roses. It's a mock of their '89 tour shirt <clears throat> made by Barado, and then that was four. So that's what I got today.